I wanted to do a quick follow-up video on the Burton Photon snowboarding boots with the double boa system for the 2021-22 season. So I recently did a video on why I chose the Photon over the ruler when I was picking out a new snowboarding boot. So feel free to check it out. I'll put a link down below. And this is just to say, hey, you know, I've had four solid days now on the mountain with these boots. What do I think about them? And yeah, I mean, I, I'm pretty, pretty pleased with these guys. This is my first time trying the BOA system out. Um, I really like the imprint three liners in these. You know, I thought they felt very good. I didn't have any, you know, crazy pressure points or anything. Um, the last three days I spent out of Park City. I'll put a few pictures up here real quick. My first time out there, very good time. Um, I was more on the Canyon side most of the time, but yeah, I mean, you know, I thought these did well. I think every couple runs, maybe every two or three runs, I'd want to tighten up the BOA system a little bit, maybe the top half. So I couldn't quite tell if they were, if they get a little bit more loose or you just kind of your foot moving around, breaking in, you know, um, but overall it, it, it was fine. Um, I do rest my snowboard on my right foot going up on the lift since I ride regular. So you can see here, you can see a little, you know, more of some of these scrapes with my snowboard resting on the boot. I'll keep an eye on it. I have a feeling if these were a darker color, like a black or something, you probably wouldn't even know they were there, but we'll keep an eye on it and see if they, how they hold up. Um, also just figured I mentioned, I tried out a few snowboards while I was out there. I've been looking for a new snowboard. Try out the flight attendant here. Um, it was, I think it's more for your advanced rider. It was a little stiffer, wanted to hold an edge more. I also tried out the Burton process. So I was really curious about this one. This is the pure pop camber. So it's kind of the camber profile, but it has those flat points under the, the nose and tail. Um, I tried the 155 and 157, the, and I'll put up a video here, just my first time kind of trying out the process and getting a feel for how it turns. Um, I will say the 157 is more for my weight range, and it did hold an edge better and um, was a little more solid. But, yeah, I really liked it. I've been looking for some like another camber board that's a little less aggressive, and I think this I think this will do it. Um, I tried out some new gear too, a six new 686 jacket and 686 hot lap bib. So let me know if you have any questions on on my gear. Um, but yeah, when I got back, I actually ended up buying buying the Burton Process board. So I'm looking forward to really using it a lot more. Um, I've got my old camber form board here too. It's pretty easy to ride, and it's, it's always been been good. So yeah, it's my two cents, I guess, on the photons. You know, I'm not out there riding all the time anymore. Um, I don't get out there quite as often, so this is coming from more of an intermediate all-mountain rider. I'm not out there hitting all the jumps either. Um, but, I, you know, in my case, I think these these boots are going to last a good, a good couple years or more. Um, and, yeah, I, I hope that helps. And you have a good day. Peace.